here with Professor Carlos Diaz of Gracie Jiu Jitsu Destin. He's going to show us a couple of moves. All right, guys. Uh, so, this is a very sneaky move. A person walking into your one arm guillotine, so I'm going to be here, knee on belly, with this knee on the ground, which is, you know, on the surface, a bad knee on belly. And as he's here, he's going to try to come, come out. As I do this, I wrap his head, I get under the arm, and I don't lock up because I want him to feel like he's going to roll me. And when he rolls me, this knee dances all the way south to the hip. I stay sideways, this other one goes to his back. And then from here, I finish with the one-arm guillotine right here. Cool. So simple, so simple. The fact that he's thinking about escaping and I don't want to lock up. So one more time, when he goes, I just put my hands in position and let him roll me. And boom, I put my knee, put, my knee dives down to block that hip. And then I stay on the side. If he tries to come to the middle to kind of roll me, I start moving more to the outside. Now always claim this angle facing him. Cool. Yes. So this can also be done from a side from a side mode. It's the exact same thing. When I'm here, we are fighting for underhooks. I want the underhook. You get the underhook. I allow it. You come up. I lock. Same move. Yes. So let's do the anaconda. So again, one more time, knee on belly, he gets the underhook, he gets up, I lock, he comes out, I get here. I want to finish it, but his forehead is on the ground, and I can't like really finish this move. So now look, I put this foot on the ground, I start walking away. As I walk away, I kick his hip off with this leg. I get to this, I lock, I grab his hand, and I got it to put it across his neck. From here, I get this leg, so I can keep this hand down as I adjust my grips. And then from here, I start walking in to the anaconda setup. So it's a great one-two punch for the one I'm looking.